today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Avid Media Composer. Part of being a really good editor is to be fast <laughs> and efficient. I love this gaming keyboard. On the left-hand side of the keyboard, you'll find six extra buttons where I've programmed some of my favorite uh, keyboard shortcuts. At, at the very top, I have the zoom in to the timeline. Next one is the zooming out. And the third one is, you know, fit the, you know, fit to sequence or fit the timeline to sequence. I forgot. <laughs> it just fits the whole thing in, in the window. My fourth button here is, uh, is a match frame. I always use that. And then the next one is find bin. So after matching back to this frame, to this clip, now I want to find, I want to know where, what bin it's located in. So then I hit that key and it opens up that, uh, the bin where this uh, clip is located in. Uh, the first one I'll talk about here is uh, A. That opens up uh, my effects uh, setting. So in this case, in, in V1 here, uh, I have a 3D warp. If I hit A, it just takes me to my settings. I can, I can tweak those, you know? While we're here, to close a window, right, you can go here, hit the X, close it out. That's fine. But I have, you know, Command W. Uh, I think that's might be the standard shortcut. Now let's look at moving around the timeline. Uh, H and J I use to move the playhead to the next event. So H moves to the next clip or next event in reverse, and then uh, J moves forward. This one, I, 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 when, when I started using it, I, I really, really liked it. Take a look at this clip here on, on, on V1. You can see there's this gap, right, that I want to fill. Like, sure, maybe you can, you know, just take your pen or your mouse and move, drag the clip over, right? That's fine. Uh, but I have a program to the Y key extend. And that's just with one key extends that clip to the, to the next one. My add edit, if I want to split a clip, I have that to N. Does that. Now I have that uh, clip has been split. So I make it a point to, to put, uh, you know, audio dissolves on everything. And so I have uh, here in the, uh, the backslash, uh, that opens up the quick transition window and then I could just, you know, whatever, add uh, a dissolve there uh, to my audio tracks and, or, or a dissolve to my video clips, but it's there on the backslash key. Up here in F2, I have toggle source record in the timeline. So I can, uh, you know, toggle between the source and record window. Very useful. F3, I have my audio mixer. I love that. You know, again, I could, you know, sure, you can go up here, tools and audio mixer and do that. But, you know, why? Why do that if you can just do it to, with one key? There you go. It opens it up. Now, there are other keyboard shortcuts that I need to use the, the shift key with. So the first one I'll talk about is uh, shift R. And this is uh, renders the effect at the playhead. Now, let's say I have a bunch of effects that I need to, to render. I have that program to shift T will render the section between my in and out points. Another one that I, I use a lot, and this is kind of to move things around the, the timeline. So for example, like at this playhead, I want to move everything after it. I want to move it to, to the right, you know, and just grab it all and then move it. So what I would do here is, for example, hit shift J and it selects everything, you know, after the playhead. So now I can grab that and then just move it. And so then if I have uh, shift H, it selects everything before uh, the playhead. Uh, but I'm curious to know, uh, say what keyboard shortcuts you use. Let me know by putting those in the comments below. So if you found this helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I wanna make Hollywood Editing Mentor the ultimate learning resource for the post-production community around the world. And I would certainly appreciate your support.